Hey yo, what up? It's your boy. If you've been on the internet for a while, then you might know of this weird phenomenon known as virtual YouTubers. They're everywhere at this point. They've kind of taken over the stream sphere, both here on YouTube and also over on other platforms like Twitch and even Nico Nico over in Japan. And I think one aspect that really makes VTubers, I guess, stand out or I guess VTubers weirdly popularized amongst the streaming world is this idea of Oshis. If you don't speak weebs, Oshi in Japanese basically means someone that you root for, basically someone that you quote unquote simp for. So much so that you're allowing to throw up maybe a super chat here and there, throw in a donation here and there, maybe spend a lot of money to really show monetary support for the one true love that you have in the streaming world. This concept is not new to VTubers, by the way, idols and musicians and stuff like that. And even streamers, as I mentioned earlier, have been doing this stuff for years now. And it seems that Japan has somehow introduced this concept of Oshis away from the digital world and into the real world as well. And there is one establishment that has decided to incorporate this Oshi culture in a very unique and pretty cool way, in my opinion. So we're going to be talking about that today. But before we move on, I'd like to thank the sponsor for this video, the good folks over at The Ridge, who have built these nice, fancy, minimalist, metal plated wallets. God damn, look at this thing. It's durable, it's thin, it's clean. I can't eat it and you shouldn't either. They have a ton of different cool designed wallets right here for all of your card and cash needs, as well as a bunch of other cool things that the Ridge have created and I have personally utilized myself. And if you use my link, ridge.com slash Joe, you can save up to 40% off from now until December 22nd. And thank you to The Ridge for sponsoring this video. So my friend actually linked me to this really interesting Japanese article about this particular izakaya, specifically in the Fukui prefecture, which is a prefecture that I personally haven't even been to before. So it's quite far away. If you see it on a map, it's very far away from Tokyo. But there is an izakaya chain over in the Fukui prefecture called Warabi that has started to incorporate this Oshi culture by essentially having this cool digital system where you can tip or throw super chats essentially the equivalent of a super chat to your favorite uh server whether that be a boy or a girl the name of the app is called uh throw <laughs> as in you throw a super chat over to your oshis oh my god that you couldn't make this shit up it is throw developed by the it venture glow <laughs> bars who have essentially created this app as it says in this uh paragraph right here where people coming to the restaurant can download the throw app and essentially buy stamps from anywhere between 100 yen to 2000 yen so roughly about a dollar to 20 dollars usd the limit on one single purchase is up to ichiman yen or 10,000 yen about a hundred dollars usd and essentially what you can do is people can buy these quote-unquote badges and send them to uh whoever is on the list of employees at that store, whoever is on the servers of that store, and essentially throw them uh, a, a stamp or a, a or a super chat, essentially. And uh, if the particular server is working at that restaurant on that day, then they can obviously come over to the table and say, thank you very much for the support. Thank you very much for the throw of the super chat. <laughs> like I'm literally looking at this and it is like 100%, I think, fully, fully, fully inspired by just the ever-growing VTuber community. And again, the whole idea of throwing super chats at your favorite VTubers or idols. I mean, it even says here, the the, the owner of the, uh, the the actual restaurant has actually made a statement saying, you know, uh, there is a, a culture that is surrounding this idea of, you know, creating Oshis around your favorite idols or musicians or even your favorite anime characters. Come on. Him using the term anime character, that has to be talking about VTubers. There is no fucking way there's no shot they're not talking about vtubers i don't know why he didn't just say vtubers i don't know why he had to say it in such a roundabout fucking way maybe he is also talking about you know the weird culture of i guess you know like idol anime like say love live or idol master where a lot of these like idol slash anime crossover fans spend a lot of money to support not just the franchise of whatever the idol anime is but one particular character in that 
idol franchise. And again, that has bled over to the VTuber world as of recently as well. And it says here that uh, we as a company are very happy to support and uh, financially support rather the, the, the dreams and aspirations and hobbies of our uh, employees. And rather than using the idea of trying to bring back uh, supporting customers and customers that keep coming back to the restaurant using things like coupons and you know uh, percentages off for your next visit for example we wanted to focus more on the performance or performance aspect I guess of the uh, server to the customer essentially the whole tipping service I mean you know America and a lot of Western countries have already incorporated the whole tipping service but unlike in America where they say it's uh, not mandatory even though they heavily heavily enforce that shit so much so to the point where one time when I went to an American restaurant and I forgot to tip the waiter literally ran out after me into the car park to ask where the tip was like bro I'm sorry uh you, you seem like a nice person but I'm not gonna tip you 20% just because you filled up my water cup three times so you might be thinking Joey what's your opinion on this whole thing um to be straight up with you I think this is a fucking fantastic service because if any server if any country that has customer service deserves uh, a tip to be placed to their employees, it's Japan. I mean, I've talked about the extremely high standards of customer service here in Japan for many, many videos now. And it's almost criminal of the fact that these employees aren't getting tips. I mean, sure, you know, they might be getting paid well, you know, enough to support, uh, you know, their thing or whatever, but it doesn't really incentivize, I guess, the employees to do an even better job. I mean, these employees are already, for the most part, going above and beyond what is expected in most other countries. Like, there, there is no, you, you'll be very, very lucky to find the level of customer service in Japan in any other country. And that's why I think a lot of, especially foreigners who come to Japan, are always blown their minds about that. Like, oh my God, I haven't had a single bad customer service experience in Japan like everyone has been so nice everyone has been so kind everyone has gone above and beyond to make sure that me as a customer is satisfied with their service but I think you know it can even get better like I hate to quote the one piece meme but we can get much higher. And by throwing in this, I guess, tipping or super chat service, however you want to call it, I'm just going to call it super chat service because that's essentially what it is. By throwing in this super chat service, it incentivizes the service to, again, go above and beyond and give an even better experience. You know, make sure that they themselves are supporting themselves and really let them know that their personal performance in that store will not only help the store, but help themselves as well. Because let's be real, no one wants to fight tooth and nail for a company that doesn't support them back. So it says here that the chain uh, of Izakaya Warabi, who, which has six stores in all of uh, Fukui Prefecture, have started incorporating this as early as the end of October. So this thing is already in place. Um, it's kind of going to be interesting to see uh, just how much of an effect this is uh, creating for not just the employees, of Warabi, but also the Warabi franchise itself, because I'm sure, like, if the customers are cute and stuff like that, and the customers are, you know, good people, then I'm sure they'll have seen a lot of success in this new system. I guess the one downside I can say to a system like this is that um, they're going to start to get really, really picky with what kind of people they decide to, I guess, employ in future stores and stuff like that, because I, I don't like saying this and no one wants to admit it, but with this kind of Oshi service, the more attractive you are, the easier it is. That is a, a just a, a sad fact, but it is the truth. I hate to drop a truth bomb on you. And don't get me wrong, there are probably a lot of people who are hardworking who may not necessarily look like a fucking model or anything like that. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with that personally. Like, I don't personally go to an izakai just because there's a cute girl working there or anything, but I mean, I'd be lying if I said that it wasn't a bonus. And I feel especially with uh, this whole Japanese culture of me Minkui or, you know, people who really heavily, uh, I guess, prioritize physical looks in Japan over personality in a lot of aspects, especially in things like customer service and just interacting with strangers that you don't know. I guess the benchmark for getting occupations in 
places like this is going to get a little bit more difficult. Although it says here in the article that servers uh, actually aren't obliged to come into this uh, system, like they can choose to opt into the system, they can choose to stay out of it as well. And although the store itself is taking a percentage of all of these super chats, like is the case with a lot of VTuber uh, industries and, uh, you know, Twitch streaming and stuff like that, uh, it says here that the employee themselves get anywhere between 75 to 80% of the super chat value that they are thrown. So it's still a pretty good margin, especially in terms of how Japan works. Like, it really seems like this system is made for employees to really, I guess, work hard and work even harder to support themselves financially in a more, I guess, independent way. So, uh, yeah, all I can say is, uh, good job, Japan with the rare W. And, uh, it's going to be really interesting to see if this kind of system will be more pushed out outside of this one franchise. I don't know. Let, we, there might be a, a, a day in our lives. There might be a timeline where the next time you come to Japan, 10, 20, 30 years from now, every place might have this system incorporated. And to be honest, I'm pretty okay with that because again, if anybody in the customer service industry deserves to be tipped, it's the Japanese. They go absolutely above and beyond for this shit, and the fact that they are not getting tipped is criminal. So yeah, that's my two cents on that. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below, and uh, if you'd like to read the full article for yourself, I've also left that down in the comments below as well. But thanks for watching, guys. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smack my face right there to subscribe to the channel. Let's keep making big channel number go bigger, and over here next to my head is a couple more videos you can check out if you enjoyed this one. Links to all my social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, all down in the description below, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.